Hello and welcome guys. So, if you are watching this video, you may be a proud owner of a Huawei Mate 20 Pro or you're thinking about getting one. So, um, I will share my 9 secret tips and tricks which I learned with the device so far. Um, and hopefully this is helpful or if you're interested in the device, you may be seeing some stuff which you like or dislike. Um, yeah, and let's start off with the, the the thing which started the whole thing for me is how to launch the camera quickly with one button. And this is actually here it does only work if the display is locked and then you have to double press the silent the silent uh uh key and it starts in the mode you had previously on the phone so it starts in the same configuration as you had. Um, sadly, this does seems to not work if you are running any kind of media, then it's only going to the um, louder or the more or, or silent mode. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of a bummer for me because I'm always having this stuff running on it. So, next thing I found quite interesting here is for the face unlock uh, work in action. This is the, is the uh, silent mode while sleeping. And let's see how we go there. Let's maybe try here sound. Do not disturb mode. So for one you can set a planner here. And uh this thing was I was talking with a work colleague and he told me that he cannot dis disengage his sound at night because if there's something with the kids and somebody is calling or something, you really need to be reachable. So here we can uh, set, set it to allow uh, prior to interruptions only. And we can define which are priorities, so like uh, we can define our phone book favorites can call us, and here this is especially interesting. If somebody tries more than two times in three minutes to call you, the call will actually ring, so if something bad would be going on, the people could reach you quite easily with this. Um, I really like this, because yeah, nothing is bad, nothing is good about getting your sleep disturbed uh, by the million of messages of groups and stuff and everything. So... A third thing which I think find quite important is um, is that the phone actually suppresses background running of apps a little bit. And some apps, like for example, uh, here the app I'm using to tra to track the battery usage, um, don't work at all. Or messaging apps, I had to say. And I found out where you can uh, disengage this. So this is tip number three. Um, we go here to battery and an app launch and. Um, Basically, the apps you need to run in the background, you have to to go and deselect, and then you can like set the settings. Uh, and for me, this helped quite with the apps running in the background smoothly. Um, it probably needs a bit more energy, but like for example, this app uh, did not run at all, and yeah, I'm not quite sure about sports tracker. I haven't tried all the apps out, but yeah, I noticed it that it was getting really strange values and was not not really working at all. And for example, this app here didn't work so. Yeah, I think this is a, a thing which could help somebody out here. Um, then let's go a bit. Let go. Let's go to the to the knuckle uh, shortcuts which we have. So this would be number four. If you need to, to make a screenshot, you only need to double tap with your knuckle onto the phone. And the same on number five. Uh, if you want to do a video, like make a short tutorial for your aunt how to set up your device, you put double tap with two knuckles, which uh, does not really work so well with the camera in front for me. But uh, I have got it working and now we could select which, which, uh, where we would get the sound and something. So, about most, I'm not quite sure. And another thing which is here is quite nice is if you wanted to make a split screen, you just need to draw your knuckle up and you have the split screen. And yeah, the, the elongated, uh, screen here the big screen and isn't this category is really nice to have so you can really use it on most other phones it's a bit limiting because your uh, space is just too small so this is a really a plus on this device if you are working in this mode so, um now let's go to number seven already so we are going into the cam and let's see um this thing also uh, has slow motion camera and like this 3d emojis and they are all hidden here under more and I think slow motion is quite clear, so you can do this 32, 960 FPS, um, like on most other devices these days, and they like auto capture it and everything. Or we could get on, so like light painting and stuff. But uh, light painting, I would recommend you you put it on a tripod, um, as it gets terrible, horrible. So, um, and we wanted to show the 
3D emotions and they are a bit hidden here in the R R R lens. So, yeah, not quite sure what Apple think, uh, was thinking when they introduced it, uh, but here I copied it and yeah, it's absolutely useless, but you can capture like your face as a, as a sherry or some kind of fish. And yeah, yeah, usually, usually it does not track my mouth really. Uh, Sometimes it works better with the camera on the front for me. But yeah, absolutely rubbish, but if you need it, it's there. Um, yeah, and then let's talk about another thing. Uh, this is the data, this is for uh, saving you, your data plan data. You actually have a mode, it's also hidden in this phone manager app here. So if we press here, we can uh, set limits for our data usage and we can like set our our monthly data limit, the day when it is reset, so for me it's the first, and you can set the usage reminders like when so and so percents of your volume are used up, yeah, I think 80% is quite, quite nice, or if you're using more than you should use on a single day, so you get a reminder from the app, so I think this is, is quite a lifesaver for some people. Uh, and then last, number nine, I think a very important thing, um, is the I comfort mode. So um, actually find it here. Can it find it in the quickly uh, in the shortcuts here? She also can uh, can set. So it's, it's really not not as intrusive as most of these modes. But yeah, I usually really prefer to have this because yeah, it really helps sleeping better and it's not not so. It's really not so much of a bother here on this device so it's like on some other device. So usually this. Uh, should reduce the blue light uh, and then you can save better and your eyes are getting getting less stressed and yeah i really enjoy it so something you should try out if you haven't done it and there are apps for doing this i know but here it's included so yeah quite nice so if you enjoyed this video and if any of the of my hints were useful to you just write in the comment leave a like of course i'm really happy if you subscribe to my channel and yeah see you i hope to see you guys around thanks for watching bye bye